Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today we're going to see if we can't figure out if this is too many wires to be run in this one piece of half inch EMT. Now, this is from an actual challenge from the Ideal National Championship 2021, and the deal was that if the competitors saw this, this is part of a violation board, this little board with a lot of different things on it. When the contestants saw this, if they put it down as a violation and it's not a violation, they get points taken off. If they put it down as a violation and it is a violation, they get points. And those points are really important to get to the second round. See, this was part of the first round. And especially in the pro division, man, it's tight. You... <laughs> You need every point you can get just to get to the second round. These competitors are really, really good. So let's take a look at this. First thing we need to do is count these wires. Okay, this is a black wire and a red wire and another black wire and another red wire and this is a blue wire. So that's five hot wires. We call them ungrounded conductors. One of them is 12 gauge and four of them are 14 gauge so we have five hot wires now for the neutrals we have one two three we have four neutrals and three of them are 14 gauge and one is 12 gauge so that's nine conductors all right so here is an EGC see the green wire here that's called an equipment grounding conductor that's your ground and we have one of those. So we have a total of 10 wires. So first, let's see if we should use that EGC wire in our EMT fill calculations. This is the 2020 NEC code, chapter nine tables. And table one is percent of cross section of conduit and tubing for conductors and cables. And right below table one, notes to tables. Number three, equipment grounding or bonding conductors where installed shall be included when calculating conduit or tubing fill. The actual dimensions of the equipment grounding or bonding conductor insulated or bare shall be used in the calculation. So that answers our question. Yes, we do need to include the equipment grounding conductor. And so that gives us a total of eight 14 gauge conductors and two 12 gauge conductors. So let's see if that number of conductors is permissible in half inch EMT. So here we are at informative annex C. It can be found in the back of your code book. And this is for half inch EMT right here, THHN, that's what we're using. And we see that we can put 12 14 gauge wires in half inch EMT, or we can put nine 12 gauge wires in half inch EMT. But we have eight 14 gauge and two 12 gauge, so we have a mix. So let's go to a different table to help us out. So here we are now at chapter nine, table four. And this one's about dimensions and percent area of conduit and tubing. That is areas of conduit or tubing for the combinations of wires permitted in table one, chapter nine. And this is article 358, electrical metallic tubing. And here's our trade size right here, half inch. And it says over two wires, 40%. That means you're not to fill your conduit over 40%. And then you can use these numbers to do the math, but I'm going to show you what I think is an easier way to do it. This is a conduit fill calculator. And I have it set up here to EMT, half inch. And here we are, uh, THHN, 14 gauge. We've got eight of those, THHN. 12 gauge, we have two of those. So all we gotta do is hit calculate. And there you go. We got 34.3%. So 
we had a 40% allowable and it's only filled to 34.3%. So it passes. I'd like to say though, it's not good practice to put this many wires in a half inch conduit. I would recommend going to a three quarter inch EMT where you can actually put 16 12 gauge wires. So if you said that this was a violation, you got zapped. Figuratively, of course, not literally. <laughs> Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks, Thanks for watching. <laughs>